Colleges are in the business of working with young people and adults in order to ensure that they get the best experience to enable them to get jobs and compete in the global economy. E-learning, e-assessment, e-portfolios are central to that experience in the 21st century. When we speak to young people and they talk about their experiences, whatever else they've learnt, there's often a fear factor, there's a self-confidence factor. And the beauty of e-learning is that young people and young adults can assess, can self-assess, and it's between them and the screen. That builds confidence, and when you have confidence, people are able to learn and really fulfill their potential. That's why e-learning is central to the effective learner experience. By using student data from MIS, the system already knew who the student was when they logged on and then logged on to the initial assessment. We used an external company to host the initial assessment and that meant that our system took a lot less strain than it had done in the past. Because of these changes, we were able to simplify the user interface, which meant that both students and staff found it easier to log on and use the system. This, in turn, meant that they required far less support. I've used the LRS system with a group of Level 1 students and it's been really helpful. Um, it meant that I was able to get an overview of what, the things that they were good at and the things that they needed help with. This meant that it saved a lot of time and was able to start to action plan them and focus on skills that they need very quickly. We've actually embedded the diagnostic status into the learner's EILP. The idea behind that is when the tutor and the learner meet, they can actually discuss the learner's needs and the areas that need to be developed based on the diagnostic plan. This diagnostic plan also leads through to the resources that the student needs, uh, also based on the group activities as well, and also on the self-assessment materials that the student can go through to assess themselves and ensure that they're actually progressing through the diagnostic system. Overall, I think the e-diagnostic test is, is a modern way of testing students and uh, teachers feel that they are quite positive and uh, it's easier to, for them to track, especially the key skills tutor says that I needed this result for a long time and I could now use it to see what level to put them at in key skills. Diagnostic e-assessments have been very successful this year at Barking College. We've had some very positive feedback from staff and from students. This has made us very confident and look at new ways of how we can deliver e-assessments in the future. And one of the areas we're looking at is a scenario-based e-assessment, something based on the learner's experience. Say, for instance, a construction student could have questions based around the construction industry. This has given us confidence to move forward with the e-assessments. We find that the e-diagnostics at Barking College are now part of the college culture and are virtually fully embedded.